characters like Meghna Guldar, she doesn't let you just stop at the skin of the character, she makes you meet the soul of the character. So I'm just blessed that I had Meghna Guldar guiding me for a role of a lifetime, uh, which is a Field Marshal Sam Malik Shaw. I think as an actor, I feel extremely fortunate that Jinke Bharat mein apachman mein kisse kahaniya sunte ho na because my mom and dad both have lived the 71 war. They were in Punjab jab 71 ki war hui thi. To maine unse kafi kisse sunne the. He field manager, field marshal manager shot. So to then to grow up and then to get an opportunity. To uh, see life through his eyes, and it's not just any other person, but him. Uh, it's, it's. I feel very fortunate. I feel very grateful for uh, Ronnie sirs and Vignas trusting me, and I have my legs and fingers and everything crossed. And I have. Uh, I've. I've done my best as I could as an actor. Jitni mere paas kabiliyat thi, but uh, really looking forward to the release of the film that you know I've, I've justified the legend. You know, we are also watching these two lovely ladies reunited on stage. Dangal ke saath unki shuruwaat hui ki. Sanya, I'll start this uh, with you. Dangal, Panglaid, Kathal, Jawaan. All ensemble films. But in that case, if you look at your filmography, you have managed to create a really strong character which is very much such a film that we think that why don't the women have a more meaty role? And you have managed to do that. So are you very conscious in picking your scripts? Yeah, ye Kismat hai ki ye scripts jo hain, everybody is coming to you with that. Very conscious of that. Also, I think that's always there in the forefront when I'm picking up those characters, you know. Meri life mein mene aisi aurte dekhi hai, jo mujhe inspire karti hai. Mujhe acha lagta hai ki when I'm playing such women on screen. Aur mujhe pata hai ki wo jab koi chhoti bachchi ya koi dekh raha hooga, they will also get inspired in more. So that is always there in my focus and also a combination of luck. I think this was purely luck and my uh, good kismat that I got a call from Meghna Ma for this film. And uh, when she told me, please read this, I was like, I don't even want to read it. <laughs> I, I want to do it. And I read it in one go so that I can call her back immediately and tell her that, yeah, I'm on it, please. <laughs> call me on set as soon as possible. Now, I don't think it had too much to do with luck, I think Meghna. But pretty much sorted herself out. If you see her white board and her board, there's no luck concept there. And Fatima, your dialogues are in this film. Now, you always imagine how Indira Gandhi was. She's one of the most powerful prime ministers that this country has ever seen. We lost her in 84. You will be born after that. So how... When you have just read about this baby, when you've probably seen a couple of clips on YouTube, how do you get into the skin of a character who's not alive anymore? So, historically, fiction is very important. Yeah, it's 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 very important. वो बहुत मार पड़ेगी मुझे ऊपर बैठ जाओ ऊपर बैठ जाओ हाँ बताइए मैं नहीं फ्रेम अच्छा नहीं लग रहा सर आप ऊपर बैठ जाइए चेंज करो थैंक यू प्रभु दे आर लविंग यू इन द फ्रेम इट्स ओके ना दे आर लविंग फिर से पूछ लो दो एक पोस्टमर्स कैरेक्टर she just said one word. She said, "Trust me." And uh, yeah. Emotion to some of the film will know. Those two words. So, मेरे लिए एक तो I look up to her. I love her work. I have always aspired to work with her क्योंकि as an actor आपका एक list होता है कि आपको इन directors के साथ काम करना है क्योंकि आपको उनका काम पसंद है। तो जब भी इन्होंने ये बोला मैंने सोचा यार कौन को? It's 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 a privilege that I have that my director is telling me कि तुम trust कर लो मुझे क्योंकि I just need to hear that and to be honest, I have just done that and I am so happy that I got the experience to get the experience because this world and this story is 
बनने का मुझे वापस मौका नहीं मिलेगा बिकॉज फॉर पीपल लाइक मी जो जिन्होंने ज़्यादा पढ़ाई नहीं की है जो ज़्यादा पढ़ते नहीं है जिनको ज़्यादा हिस्ट्री के बारे में मालूम नहीं है मुझे लगता है कि uh, आप जब फिल्म देखते हो या जब आप लिटरेचर पढ़ते हो आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ों के बारे में पता चलता है हिस्ट्री के बारे में मतलब पता चलता है और ऐसे किरदारों के बारे में साम मानिक शाह इंदिरा गांधी आई टू रीड अलाउट अबाउट इंदिरा गांधी एंड आई रियलाइज देर इज सो मच दैट इंडिया हैज गॉट थ्रू and that is only because of this film and now this film is being made and a lot of people young generation uh, unko pata chalega ke kya kya hua hai kaise kaise logo ne hamare desh ke liye kaam kiya hai taki hum aaj yahan pe baith ke aisi film dekh sake uh vicky ka jo career graph hai and i have to ask this question to ronnie and meena uh razi ke sath jo humne ek change dekha vicky mein which moved to puri दोनों के लिए इजी ओ म्यूज बिकॉज मैम आई बिंग ऑनेस्ट क्योंकि आप जिस तरीके के डायरेक्टर हैं यू सो क्लियर कि आप अपनी फिल्म में किसको चाहते हैं एंड आई थिंक दैट स्टार्ट राइट फ्रॉम द गेट गो जब आपने पहली बार एक कहानी के बारे में सोचा होता वेदर इट्स राजी रोनी फॉर यू दिल्म पूरी इज ही द क्ले जिसको आप मोल्ड कर सकते हैं आई डोट थिंक बिगे कैन बी मोल्ड इट बट इज द क्ले you know for me it's very strange because i love him i love him as a person and i love him as an actor and then you put him in the role of sam manik shaw who i completely admire so a lot of times when i was loving what he was doing i was i was not sure ki am i loving vicky kaushal the actor or am i loving what he's doing with sam manik shaw having said that right from then uh when there is a character that you know that ye naam aayega aapke dimag mein then you then you don't think left and right it happened with ravi it happened with sam because for me i know that he will take me into it and give me more than what i expect he will make it as well and that's exactly what he's done that's what he did to sam vicky ghar pe aaye करते हो कि इंसान तुम्हें देखते हुए भूल जाता है कि ये तो विकी कौशल है बिकॉज़ यू जस्ट गॉट इन इनटू द कैरेक्टर सो मच तो आई नो की जरूरत है यू आर लाइक ये अभी मैं सैम मैनेक शो हूं इसलिए यार एक एक्टर को आईना तो चाहिए सेल्फ ऑब्सेस्ड होते हैं हम ये बल्कि अभी 9 महीने जो ऐसे झुक के खड़े थे आराम की तरह ये हैड फॉरगॉटन हाउ टू स्टैंड स्ट्रेट ही हैड टू लर्न दैट अगेन कि अब मुझे सीधे खड़े होना है <laughs> बोलो ना <laughs> नहीं मैं अगर मैं अपनी सैम की जर्नी के बारे में अगर कहूं तो इट स्ट्रेंजली स्टार्टेड विद स्ट्रेंजली स्टार्टेड विद राजी uh, हम uh, <laughs> पंडियाला में शूट कर रहे थे राजी और दो तीन दिन की छुट्टी थी एंड वी वो होल्ड अप इन होटल जहां पहली बार uh, मेघना ने जिक्र किया था कि यू uh, नो you know, मेरी अगली फिल्म This is what I'm thinking about. It's based on Field Marshal Sam Manik Shaw. And और मैं सुन रहा था कि अच्छा यार ये फिल्म है. But मैंने उनके बारे में किससे सुने थे मुझे ये नहीं पता था वो दिखते कैसे. ठीक है. तो मैं बात सुनते सुनते ना नीचे मैंने मोबाइल पे Google किया कि ये दिखते कैसे. फिर मैंने कहा ये तो बहुत हैंड्स हैं. मुझे तो ये रोल नहीं मिलेगा. फिर मैंने मैं फिर सिर्फ सुनता रहा. But कहीं ना कहीं I think in the universe तभी एक wish प्लान हुई थी कि यार कहीं ऐसा एक रोल बिकॉज शी स्पोक सो मच अबाउट दैट रोल एंड दैट लेजेंड वाह व्हाट अ मैन एंड आई विश इफ आई कुड जस्ट एट सम पॉइंट इन माय करियर गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक दिस एंड इन 2019 मई आई रिमेंबर आई गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम मेघना शी लिव्स इन बैंड्रा एंड आई वाज जस्ट आई हैपेंड टू बी इन बैंड्रा कहां क्या कर रहे हो कहां कुछ नहीं मैं बैंड्रा में हूं घर आ जाओ कोल्ड कॉफी पीते हैं मैंने कहा ठीक है मैं आ रहा हूँ मैं चला गया एंड शी मैं सैम बहादुर अगेन एंड शी स्पोक अगेन इन डिटेल अबाउट सैम बहादुर द फिल्म द पर्सन फैमिली आर्मी एवरीथिंग एंड पोस्ट हो सो तो उन्होंने मुझे कहा मैं स्क्रिप्ट देती हूँ तुम पढ़ो मैंने कहा मुझे स्क्रिप्ट नहीं चाहिए आपने मतलब आप मेरे बारे में सोच रहे हो ये तो मैं कई सालों से मैंने यूनिवर्स में छोड़ा हुआ था कि आप सोचो मेरे बारे में मैंने बोला नहीं था कभी पर ये मैं कर रहा हूँ नहीं नहीं तुम स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ लो एंड दैट नाइट आई वाज फ्लाइंग टू न्यूयॉर्क तो मैंने फ्लाइट में स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ी एंड आई वाज वेटिंग कभी पंद्रह घंटे की फ्लाइट खत्म हो मैं कॉल करूँ दत्ते 
कि प्लीज आप कहीं इधर उधर मत देखना आप मैं कर रहा हूँ मैं आ रहा हूँ और वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दिस so uh, that's how this journey happened and in the beginning how she said that you know we tried to imbibe the spirit of tan manik shaw uh, through the process of the film and i think in every little detail chahe wo uh, conception ho scripting ho uh, jo taiyari ek do saal ki pre production rahi hai uh, phir shooting ho until the release i think i'm very proud of the fact that uh, humne uh, it's not just a film we made of course at the end of the day we, there, it's a film we made बट कहीं ना कहीं हमें उनसे बहुत कुछ सीखने का मौका मिला और उसे हमारी इसी फिल्म की जर्नी में इम्प्लीमेंट करने का भी मौका मिला दैट दैट डिसिप्लिन वाज ऑलवेज दैट दैट आर्मी डिसिप्लिन दैट यू नो सेइंग दैट दिस फिल्म विल कम ऑन अ सर्टेन डेट अ ईयर बैक एंड देन प्लानिंग अकॉर्डिंगली एंड देन कमिंग ऑन दैट डेट एंड स्टिकिंग टू ऑल द गोल्स दैट शी हैड मार्क्ड आउट सिंस द ईयर दैट यू नो इस तारीख को ये खत्म होगा इस तारीख को ये खत्म होगा और ऐसे होगा सो दैट डिसिप्लिन दैट गॉट इम बाई from learning from such a character that i'm really really uh, proud of that we got we got get to learn so much from film master dan actually there is it's uh, it almost feels aap dono ki deal hai ke biopic hogi usme do female characters honge to saath aa hi jayenge hum dono what started with mahavi bogat in dangal now to uh, sam bahadur i mean what was that that like ke biopic se biopic mein aapka ye jo reunion hua hai was was that like a तो बाकी तो हम घर पे मिलते ही रहते हैं आगे पीछे बट यू आर बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ समथिंग वेरी यू आई थिंक वो वाला जो इमोशन था दैट वाज ओवर पावरिंग देन एनीथिंग एल्स एट लीस्ट फॉर मी या इट्स ऑलवेज वेरी इमोशनल टू सी यू नो बिकॉज़ वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ टुगेदर स्कूटी पे जाते थे ऑडिशन लेने बंगल का साथ में एंड एट दैट टाइम आई वाज आल्सो ऑडिशनिंग फॉर गीता बट यू टू प्रे फॉर इच अदर कि अगर मेरा नहीं हुआ तो तेरा हो जाना चाहिए तेरा नहीं हुआ तो मेरा हो जाना चाहिए वैसा हां एंड इट फील्स वेरी इमोशनल इट्स बीन 7 इयर्स Um, we're going to complete seven years in the industry together. It feels very nice to be honest. Cool. And we came out yeah. in it, and you know we've started our journey together. We came into the industry together, so we've seen each other. Uh, एक struggling stage से audition देने से फिर काम मिलने से फिर दंगल मिलने से फिर you know everything that has happened and now this. So I feel that to have a partner in crime, <laughs> it is very important <laughs> because you feel you know you've got somebody. and you've got somebody who's gone through the same thing and that is uh, i think i'm very lucky because uh, i have that person in my life in addition to this question and sometimes i always feel ki hum kyun jaan bujh ke we're trying to shine a light on it the directors that you work with even in our industry there are a lot of male directors but here you are working with meena is there any difference working with a female director on a film uh, or is there no difference uh, no uh, i'll tell you Uh, the reason I think because आप because because क्योंकि आप एक director sir एक second आप एक बार वो mic पे बोल दीजिए मेरे को देख भी लाए ये पूछ दिया इसने नहीं क्योंकि आप इस चीज को gender gender में reduce नहीं कर सकते हो in the end she is a bloody goddamn director goddamn good director and she is so 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 crafted her uh, emotional sensibility her writing nuances her everything she's so detail oriented ab ye fact hai aap isko matlab uh, you know you can't just dilute it to a gender difference because in the end she is matlab agar aap compare karoge dusre directors mein wo sahi cast kiya ma'am sahi cast kiya aapne main ye perfect hai agle saal election bhi hai no you know i feel passionate because i i have been on set and uh, i used to feel so jealous because mujhe lagta tha yaar kaash mujhe bhi main puri film mein hoti aur mujhe like throughout i was the only one that she was directing because the way she directs and it's true i think one moment i even said that i this she is so clear of what she wants and as an actor i just need to trust myself and that is so liberating because she is extremely clear are yaar are wo keh rahi hai acha ho gaya abhi are yaar पूरे फिल्म में मैं जब भी तारीफ बोलती थी ना मैं बोलती थी अभी मत बोलो अभी मत बोलो अभी एक मौका मिला है ऑडियंस से मैं तो बोलूंगी बट आई लव यू नो दैट 
अनिल बहुत पैशनेट जो ये हमें जवाब मिला है उसके बाद बोलो बेन दैट
फिल्म में हाँ फिल्म में फिल्म पे का बात कर रहा हूँ पॉलिटिक्स में मुझे कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है आर्मी ही मेरी लाइफ है सो ये मेरे लिए पॉलिटिक्स बेस्ड फिल्म नहीं है ये आर्मी बेस्ड फिल्म है और जब भी आर्मी बेस्ड फिल्म से बुलावा आता है तो वो मेरा एक सॉफ्ट साइड है जहाँ मैं हमेशा टेम्पटेड होता हूँ बट You know, when it's about field marshal Sam Manish, <coughs> who is one of the most celebrated, uh, you know, uh, uh, people from the Indian Army, then it's it's very hard that you have such opportunity to get into. So it's 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 not the politics, it's the army. And Indra Gandhi ji, who is called this film? Teaser, that too, madam. Rest of the film, see. And Rani ji. Uh, के बारे में आपसे बहुत सारे सवाल पूछे जाएंगे कुछ बता चाहेंगे कि कितना प्रेशर होता है आपको एक को दो आ रही है बड़ी फिल्म आप अगर कुछ बता सकते हैं क्या क्या है है थैंक थैंक यू यू देखिए टू Oh, sorry, one. Yeah, almost a year. Yeah, one year back on one twelve twenty two, we announced one twelve thirty three. That's one part. <coughs> Second, I think for everyone here, this is a now a, it's a very purani baat ho gayi yar. In filmi we always used to talk about clashes because you don't look at that in real life. You don't figure out today where Flipkart and Amazon will have the billion dollar days on the same days. Actually, everyone comes out and wants to consume and spend even more. You look at anything and everything in life, clash is not about anything else. This is a very old world, sorry to say, thinking in, in, in cinema here. Actually, audiences come out more. They like multiplicity of choice. Suddenly, when there's, there's a TV screen and promotions that are very active in a particular season, you go there. So... I think it's a very, very small way to look at the fact that films are clashing because it's a whole world out there. Today, everyone is clashing with Instagram. You're clashing with Netflix. You're clashing with going out. You're clashing with so many other things. The last thing you want to worry about is clashing with anything else. Rani, Rani, this side to the right, <coughs> to your right. Uh, people are flocking in to the theaters. You know, it's it's a very good time. What are your expectations, by the way? So what are our expectations for from this film theatrical release because people have started flocking into the theaters you know recently there are about 63 empty seats here <laughs> and they should all be full hello <laughs> <laughs> and vinna vinna uh, are you depicting all the uh, wars that he represented in the decade of his service uh, four decades actually yeah four decades i hope so okay and what responsibilities uh, vicky with this character lot of expectations again so a huge responsibility along with being a huge honor it's it's a massive responsibility uh, firstly to wear the indian army uniform but then if it's got a name plate of sam manisha it's it's a massive responsibility and uh, uh, i would like to also take the opportunity to thank the adgpi and the indian army for their support unhone bahut support kiya hame through the film But every time I would meet them, they would say, "Dham se karna, he's our best guy." So, so you know that pressure is always there, and I used to always be like, "Nee, nee, hum puri jaan laga rahe." So uh, we have our fingers crossed, and humne puri jaan lagai hai. And uh, you know, but but to answer your question, yes, the responsibility is uh, is the most it can be as an actor when you're wearing a uniform of Sam Manisha. Which is a question from you. मैं आप पे जवान की भूमिका भी देखता हूं तो मेरे मन में भी ये भावना जाती है कि मैं भी जाके बॉर्डर पे लड़ाई करूं हिंदुस्तान में कई ऐसे लोग होंगे जब आपके सिनेमा के पहले पर्दे पर जवान की भूमिका निभाते वक्त देखते हैं तो ये भावना आती है क्या आपको लगता है कभी आप एक्टर नहीं होते तो क्या बॉर्डर पे होते <laughs> देखिए जब मुझे रोल्स के द्वारा या फिल्मों के द्वारा इंडियन आर्मी से इंटरेक्ट करने का मौका मिलता है वो मेरे लिए सबसे खुशी की बात होती है बिकॉज मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हम आ, हम रियल हीरोज हैं पर वो रियल हीरोज हैं और आ, हमारे देश के मतलब वो दे आर सुपर हीरोज 
you know, तो जो आर्मी की जो यूनिफॉर्म पहनते हैं और उनसे जब बात करता हूँ आई ऑलवेज गेट इंस्पायर्ड आई ऑलवेज फील लाइक दर सो मच मोर टू डू तो मैं हमेशा ये तो सोचता हूँ कि काश ड्यूरिंग माई टीन एज ऐसा कुछ इन्फ्लुएंस होता मेरे आस पास की मैं सोच सकता कि हाँ ये भी एक ऑप्शन है जो मैं कर सकता हूँ पर आई ऑलवेज ऑलवेज रियली गेट टेम्पटेड दैट यू नो और कई बार जब जैसे इस फिल्म के दौरान भी कई कैंटेरियाज में कई रेजिमेंट्स के साथ हमें वक्त बिताने का मौका मिला उनके साथ रहने का मौका मिला तो जब भी उनके साथ होता हूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि यार बस इनके साथ ही रहूँ यही बसा रहूँ क्योंकि दस ए सर्टन डिसिप्लिन एक एक वे ऑफ लिविंग है आर्मी की विच इज जस्ट सो इंस्पायरिंग एंड सो फैसिनेटिंग जो हमें लगता है कि यार इसका दस परसेंट भी होना चाहिए कम से कम हमारे अंदर so it's always inspiring so i i really uh, in a different universe in a different time frame i really hope ki aisa hota reality ki i would have been a real hero rather than a real hero but uh, who knows hi mingna ji here runa from virginia hi here Uh, I would make only one film, so I have one part of his life. Having said that, I think हमारा सबका नजरिया ये था कि this is a life we want to celebrate. We don't want to be sympathizing with him because there is a lot more to him. उनकी ज़िंदगी में ऐसे बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जिनको आप celebrate कर सकते हैं ना कि आपको अफसोस करना. अफसोस करने वाली कुछ ही शायद चीज़ें हों. तो हमको हमारा नजरिया सही रखना है कि हमको उनकी जिंदगी को सेलिब्रेट करना है कि उनकी जिंदगी के कुछ हादसों को पर अफसोस करना है। हैव डिसाइडेड टू सेलिब्रेट हिज लाइफ विद थैंक थैंक यू यू आपसे जाना हम लोग बात कर रहे थे नई जनरेशन की अगर मौका मिला तो आप शायद रोल निभा चुके हैं। पोलिटिकल डिस्कशन so i would like to stick it to the film right now and to the man the legend that we have sam manik shaw because uh, i would love to answer this question because that's my personal take and i would do that when i'm having a personal interview with you which is not related to sam manik shaw you know uh megna hi uh vicky lovely teaser no doubt about it uh megna when you're making a film on a person like sam mahadev uh, you are taking of course the anecdotes and incidents from his real life When you portray a real life character, where do you draw the line? Are there any challenges you face that where you know that you have to stop and then resume telling the life story? It depends on the life, and it depends on your intention. Uh, what is it that you're trying to do exactly? Um, for a life like Field Marshal Sam Manik Shaw, we have tried to put out everything that we could because his life is so full and large and actually cinematic that i feel that hum aur bhi kar sakte the but i had a duration limit ki itne ghante mein film khatam karni hai otherwise we could have gone on a little longer but we i think the only place where i would even think of a line is when it comes to the dignity of the character that you are portraying that cannot be compromised no matter what incident you are portraying of his life or her life and this come this i would think would apply to any real life uh, incident or character that the dignity of the incident or the person that you are talking about cannot be compromised and that comes from the intention of making the film why are you making the film right so Thank you. Um, to your right, Justin here from India. Hi, Justin. Hi. Uh, Mickey, two quick questions. Uh, I don't think it has happened before that you have a film coming out on that Friday. 
and the next week we have Katrina's film also hitting the big screen. Uh, what are the conversations like back home? What are the conversations like that? Yeah. Uh, back home. Nay, nee, she's excited for my film and I'm excited for her film. And she's not just got one film after my film, she's got one film two weeks before my film also. So I'm sandwiched between her films, which is a great spot to be in. <laughs> Also, uh, I mean, Ronnie did mention about the clash and that it doesn't really matter, but uh, as an actor, how are you looking at that Friday? Because the last time you and Ranbi were together, the dynamic was very different in Sanju. Uh, what's that Friday going to be like for you? I think that Friday, eventually we both are going to hand over our films to the audience. So that Friday is going to be the audience's, uh, you know, day, more than our day. Uh, but I think like Ronnie very correctly put out, today, in today's time, especially, we as an industry should give the option and of, of multiple films on the same day to the audience. That's how we're going to flourish as an, as, as an industry. Uh, we have, you know, those many weeks in a year. But as an industry, we can't limit ourselves to making those many films in a year. Uh, we have to make multiple films and we will have multiple uh, releases on the same day. And we've got to build an atmosphere where multiple films can work together. Uh, you know, we have that strength in the audience. We have that strength on an exhibitor level. So, uh, so why not, you know, and I think we need to kind of push that envelope also now. Uh, and with today's given scenario, with the excitement that the audience has, I think if they resonate with two films, if both the films are good, there is, both the films can work, you know. So, so I'm like as excited for Animal as anybody else. And uh, so it's, it's, I think as long as it's a great day for the audiences, you know, that's, that's who, we, we work for them, not for each other. Hi, hi. Hi. Uh, Mayuri here from Beyond Bollywood. Uh, my question is for Megna and Vicky. If you give the answer, it will be very good. The interaction with the army officers. Uh, you know, always I get the sense that you know when you speak to them and you have to talk about uh, you know successful operations, uh, the tone is always you know about uh, you know they will never talk about individuals but always about uh, the regiment and you know the force as a whole. Uh, but obviously as a filmmaker and Vicky for you as an actor, so obviously when a director or a writer writes this film or when an actor acts in this film, uh, do you have to also have to ensure that uh, you know the screenplay or the performance doesn't end up uh, being a one-man army show? I think we have a bit of both in this because we are covering four decades of his life in uniform. And naturally, he did not start off as a one-man army show. When he started his military career, he was part of a regiment. And he grew. And he became, and then he went into a commanding role. By the time he was at the end of his career, he was the chief of army staff, which is a singular role. So when I have to depict that part of his life, it is about the singular Sam Maniksha. When I have to depict the earlier part of his life, it is Sam Maniksha as part of a regiment. So we've had to, we've actually had the privilege of being able to do both. Yeah, if I could just add that, sorry, because actually this is the only line in the whole movie in that when he says, there'll be no more withdrawal, Sam is here, I think it's the only singular time when he said that. Otherwise, whenever he's talking to it, it's always my regiment, my people, we want to win and whatever else. So I think there's a very holistic sense in the movie where it is true that in the armed forces, it is about your entire group and not about any one person. Um, my answer would be the same as given by Ronnie Sir and Vigna, but as an actor, if I say when I approach a character, when that particular scene comes, I am not portraying Sam Manikshaw as five-star general Sam Manikshaw. I'm portraying as the human Sam Manikshaw. I'm trying to understand him as a human being uh, who's wearing the Indian Army uniform and doing what needs to be done in that particular scene. So what happens eventually in the context of the film that is decided by the director and the script that, that you're giving. Uh, so, so my approach as an actor is always to understand him as a human being in the decisions he took in uh, whatever he, he decides to do in that particular scene. Hi, Ashish here from Bollywood now. My question is for Fatima. Fatima, uh, we, uh, Honorable Indira Gandhi ji, uh, what was your inspiration and takeaway from this particular uh, space? Uh, uh, way of uh, uh, performing se compare nahi kiya because I had to be true to what uh, Meghna's vision is. 
And as an actor, I try to do that. I want to be uh, my director's favorite actor. And uh, you know, जो लिखा है और उसकी जो honesty है और किस तरीके से उसको निभाना है, वो already paper में होता है और director का vision होता है. And I just try to do that, and I hope I I was fine, <laughs> and I did okay. <laughs> Nikki, um, one compliment for you that you and uniform are the perfect combinations. For you. That is very true. Thank you so much. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Straight. Hi. Straight. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Vijay Lakshmi. My question is to both the lovely ladies, Fatima and Sanya. Uh, as we have discussed. Vijay is also lovely. Yeah? <laughs> of course. I, I I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so my question to both the ladies is: Firstly, congratulations on the seven-year-long journey. Uh, it's been very momentous, I'm sure, for both of you. Given the fact that in, in these seven years alone, we have seen so many new faces emerge, and for actresses especially, the space is always very competitive. Um, as to young actresses in your own right, is there the pressure of qualitative work versus quantitative work? There is no competition. At least for me personally, um, I'm living my dream. And if I add competition in between of this, I would enjoy the fact that I'm an actor. You know, I'm getting to do what I've always dreamt of doing. This has, this is my childhood dream to become an actor. If I think that what is the other one doing? Instead of getting inspired and motivated, what other actresses are doing, then I would not enjoy my uh, journey as an actor. Yeah, or the uh, actors who are very good. So you also want to be as good or better than them. So I think it's good to have competition and it's good to have more actors who are really good because it inspires you. And I mean, if you don't have to do it, even male actors, there are a lot of people who come, a lot of newcomers come. Everybody, you know, you, everybody wants to be a part of this world and I, even I do and I'm very excited that at least I'm getting to do the kind of work that I want to do. So I'm just happy. I feel lucky. And if I can just continue. Vicky के talent को तो हम जानते हैं कि वो उसने बहुत हद तक मानी शायद उसको जिया है फिल्म में लेकिन जो 71 का बहुत था और बांग्लादेश की बात थी तो उसमें उनका सिर्फ ये जो आपने बताया कि उसका शॉल है बहुत बीस थे बहुत भाकर थे बहुत take forward थे कि इंद्रा जी को भी ऐसा सुना दिया उन्होंने लेकिन जो वो बहुत जीती थी, वो उन्होंने अपने इंटेलिजेंस से और अपने प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड उससे जीती। तो वो जो इंटेलिजेंस है, जो उनकी उनकी जो कमांड थी, वो भी इसमें दिखाई है कि सिर्फ उनकी बीता और देखिए मैं एक तो ये नहीं समझती कि जो हमने वॉर जीती वो किसी एक इंसान का शेयर है उसमें हमारी तीनों डिफेंस फोर्सेस ने बहुत ही दिग्गज काम किया और बहुत ही मतलब बेवरी से सब कुछ किया था नहीं स्ट्रैटेजी हिल्स इस फॉर द आर्मी द नेवी वाज आल्सो देयर एंड द एयरफोर्स वाज आल्सो देयर सो आई वुड नॉट से दैट यस ही वाज अ वेरी बिग पार्ट ऑफ इट बट आई वुड नॉट से ही इज सोली रिस्पांसिबल दैट्स माय पर्सनल हैविंग सेड दैट उनकी मिलिट्री लाइफ वर्ल्ड वॉर टू से लेके 1971 वॉर तक थी तो हमने वो सभी कुछ जहाँ जो उनके रोल्स थे इन सारी चीजों में इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स में एंड इन एंड इन बिटवीन एस वेल एस पार्ट ऑफ इस मिलिट्री करियर वी हैव शोन ऑल ऑफ दैट एस मच एस वी कुड विदिन द टाइम फ्रेम जो हमारे पास था इसे दिखाने के लिए अब स्पेसिफिक स्ट्रेटेजाइजेशन थोड़ा सा मुश्किल हो जाता है क्योंकि बहुत ही ह्यूमंगस स्केल था वॉर का छिड़ी थी, so मतलब हमने कोशिश की है, बाकी आप देख लीजिए। लेकिन जैसा कि आपने कहा है कि वो आजादी के पहले भी आर्मी में थे और बहुत राय बहादुर का किताब भी कुछ जो स्वतंत्रता पेनानी है उनको नहीं भाता था, क्योंकि उनको ऐसा लगता था कि ये अंग्रेजों ने दिया है। क्या हम जानते हैं कि हमारे ये कितने बड़े नहीं है लाइफ फिल्म आचर लेकिन क्या कभी उनके उसमें कुछ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आया था क्योंकि उस समय अंग्रेजों की सरकार ने इस्लाम बहादुर का खिताब उनको इंडिपेंडेंस से पहले थी उसके बाद में नहीं वो तो बाद में मिला लेकिन उस जमाने में 
या जब वो उन्होंने साथ दिया था तब अंग्रेजों की सरकार थी तो क्या कभी कोई कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आया था कुछ ऐसा वो ही वॉज अ सोल्जर फॉर द आर्मी अब वो आर्मी ब्रिटिश इंडिया की आर्मी है कि इंडिया की आर्मी है उनकी लॉयल्टी आर्मी की तरफ हमेशा थी और हमेशा ही रही हेलो मैम आई आई शेयर विद प्राइड एंड हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट नॉट लेस देन 15 टाइम्स एंड इवन व्हेन वॉज इन स्कूल आई डिड अ मिलिट्री समर कोर्स वेर साहेब बहादुर वॉज इनवाइटेड एज द चीफ गेस्ट दिस वॉज इमीडिएटली आफ्टर ही गॉट इज यू नो फील्ड मार्शल एंड uh why i'm speaking to you is he had a fabulous sense of witty humor you know he told us that it is humor which keeps us going you know during the war crisis and every fourth sentence people were laughing it is like how you have a stand up comedy na he had a fantastic sense of humor even otherwise after i met him he uh, i will tell you personally what all he shared with me but i just wanted to check whether this aspect of uh, bahadur has been uh, Use it in the movie. Has it? <laughs> <laughs> like you rightly pointed out, sir. Without you know, it was a very integral part of his personality, the humor that you're talking about. And uh, there are many moments uh, in the film which which depict that side of him. And uh, we've tried to do our best to depict those that kind of humor. And we were also very well aware of you know this side. But uh, but we've done our best. But yes, to answer your question, yes, all of that is there. Right. Another thing was he was very candid and very uh, outspoken. You know, yeah, little too much. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of that, all so, of that is there. Yeah. So he used to always say, "I hope I have not said anything controversial." Photo. We can talk. Thank you. Hi, sir. Photo. Photo. So you have been. Yeah, you yourself hold it very well. Whatever you play. So now you are doing the passes role. So I just want to know that thank how you, you got molded in your parcel or short temper. Anita will be thank you. Why are you running? So you know the character and the body language of Vikram is so like you saw that is really very good, really good. Got the right track of parcels and you have done that thing. So how uh, difficult or how easy was? Have you taken any kind of lessons for that? I just hope that after this film releases, I'm like um, I, I get uh, like you know like a special pass into the party community. Like you know you're one of us. <laughs> but uh, but I mean I don't know how to answer that question based on like him being a party. But uh, but like I said, like I'm, I only try to understand him as a human being and uh, all aspects regarding him as a human being and uh, as a person. Um, and uh, but yeah. But I, I, I like also my, lying in the movie. Yes. If we won't talk about. Yes, right. we won't talk about. I can. थोड़ा दे दूँ क्या? Actually, also let's come from the fact that we also must be aware that the way Parsis have been historically depicted in our films, they are not always like that. And Sam Malik Shaw was not like that either, right? So he has been more of what Sam Malik Shaw really is. We pass. We have also characterised Parsis. In our films historically, we've done that, which is not what you will see here. So if you're expecting that, you're going to be disappointed. So the other one is the one I got to do. I wanted to ask the question, Vikram and Vicky. Uh, you worked with him in Razi, where you had a smaller role compared to Alia, who was the main person. So did you see Sam Bahadur at already in him when you were working in Razi? Because Just you had started in 2016. What? No, I think the reason was that I didn't have my script at that time. We were only only into research, and I started seeing an actor only once I had the script. Mm -hmm. And once I had the script, that's what happened. And had you seen that any kind of growth change in him since Razi from Razi to Sanjay? Oh, both of them. So I mean, the joke he makes is that Razi ne mujhe ek dialogue nahi diya tha. पूरी पूरी फिल्म खामोशी में कर रही है आपने राजी और उसके आगे की तीन फिल्मों का चुपता कर दिया है सैम इतना बुलवाया सो नो आई मीन आई थिंक द प्लेजर ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग हिम द प्रिविलेज ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग एंड हैविंग हिम इंटरप्रेट योर कैरेक्टर आई थिंक इट हैज जस्ट कंपाउंडेड मैनफोल्ड 
from Rising now, and I know that it's just going to keep rising exponentially because that's the kind of that we need. It comes from the person that yeah. I think you were talking your journey from Razi to Samba. And you working with Nick now? Uh, I think <coughs> for me, what happened during Razi was that there's a certain kind of blind trust that just organically happened, where I'm being completely honest and not just saying it for the sake of it, but I really blindly trust him. Like there's just blind trust in uh, in the approach he has towards a story, towards a character. Uh, and you know, there was a there was a question asked earlier that do you sense a difference between a male director and a female director? She's probably the only female director I've worked with, and I sense a difference. Uh, yes, because. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a line which they say that men written by women. I feel that when I'm working with her, uh, with the sensitivity with which she treats uh, her male characters, uh, there's a dignity, there's a sensitivity, and there's a gravitas, which I just find very, very special uh, in the writing and in the way she directs uh, me also on that particular day. I, I sense it. In the little gestures, in the little uh, things that makes she she says ki yaar isko aise bolo, ya isko aise karlo. You know, I just I get to learn so much that you know what this is heroic. What a male thinks that this is heroic is not actually heroic. It's it's what I see it from a woman's perspective that okay this is actually heroic and that that is something that I learn as a person. Uh, and that is that is my. Like you know, the biggest thing that I take away from working with Nikma is I get to be a better man. Uh, whenever I work with her through her characters, so uh, I got to learn a lot from Iqbal Sayed in Razi. I got to learn a lot from Sam Manikshaw, and I'm really looking forward to learning a lot in our journey again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, one last question. I can talk about what. No, 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 क्योंकि वो शख्स सामने नहीं होता है जिससे हम सीख सकें और देख सकें उसे तो उस लिहाज से इस किरदार को निभाना आपके लिए कितना मुश्किल था थैंक यू फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आई थिंक मेरे लिए सबसे ट्रिकी पार्ट ये था कि मानिशा सर के जितने इंटरव्यूज हैं ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल वो सारे इंटरव्यूज हैं व्हेन ही वाज पास्ट 70 व्हेन ही वाज रिटायर्ड एंड मुझे कई बार जब उनका उनका यूथ प्ले करना था या उनके यू नो वो द द मीडियाज प्ले करते थे उसका रेफरेंस कोई नहीं है मेरे पास कि वो कैसे बात करते थे या कैसे चलते थे देर आर ओनली देर आर मेनी पिक्चर्स और कुछ वीडियोस हैं डॉक्यूमेंटेड ऑफ हिम वॉकिंग बट ऑल हिज इंटरव्यूज वेन यू गेट टू हियर हिम स्पीक इज ऑल वेन ही वॉज सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव एटी तो to crack that ki yaar ye apni jawani mein kaise baat karte honge i like you know we we met his family a lot of times his grandson uh, a lot of times we sat on the text a lot of times ki kaise baat karte honge kya unki chaal hogi kya body language hogi uh, all of that aur wo karne mein maza bada aaya the process was very very like you know uh, stimulating for me as an actor uh, to humne apni taraf se puri koshish ki hai but uh, that was the tricky part for me because the reference was there but also was not there uh, for you. It was something that we had to decode ki haan yaar apni jawani mein ye aise baat karte honge ya aise chalte honge. So, har character ka ek apna, uh, apne challenges hote hai but Sam mein I think to crack that, the tonality of the voice and the body language and the physicality was I think the number one stage that we were trying to crack. Nehna, I have a question in a historical film, in Hollywood, there are many films in Hollywood, in a historical history related film, but there are very few liberties in it. There are also such films in this film. What was the scope of this film that you have created liberties in your own way so that you can make a cinematically more interesting film? 
जहाँ तक हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट्स हैं वहाँ पे जो कुछ हमारे पास रिसर्च बेस्ड डेटा में था हमने उसी को निभाया है उसमें हमने लिबर्टीज नहीं ली हैं क्योंकि आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड बी बीटिंग हिस्ट्री ये मेरा मानना है लेकिन सैम किसी शाम घर पे अपनी वाइफ सिल्लू से किस तरह बात करते होंगे या उन्होंने क्या कहा होगा उनको वी हैव टू इमेजिन दैट एंड येट अंडरस्टैंड इट विथ फ्रॉम द फैमिली फ्रॉम देयर डॉटर्स की उनकी रिलेशनशिप क्या थी हाउ आर शी इन द हाउस वॉट वुड दे टॉक अबाउट और हाउ वुड दे बी विथ ईच अदर वी हैव टू पॉइंटर्स एंड देन हमको वो सीन्स इमेजिन करने पर आई थिंक क्रिएटिव इमेजिनेशन उस दायरे तक ही था जहाँ तक हिस्ट्री का सवाल है Uh, we try to remain as faithful as possible to it um, because that's not something that should be distorted thank, thank you so much thank you so much